Hello, family and friends. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a custom driving focus. And uh, because it does involve some configuration, I can't just share it. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing that is uh, I've wrote about it a little bit in my iOS 15. Uh, ignore that notification. This is gonna be a messy one. Um, iOS 15 reviewed for my family guide. Uh, I talked a bit about how I think the default driving focus adding this lockout step, uh, once you lock your phone when in the driving focus, uh, in order to use your phone again, you have to go through this extra step and select I'm not driving, which just disables the focus, which makes it useless. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, set up a custom focus with you and... You notice that that plus wasn't up there, uh, which is in the focus menu. And this is just in settings, focus in iOS 15, that plus in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to do custom. I deleted my car focus. So, um, I'm going to call it car. And I'm going to allow my uh, calls for my mom and... Maybe I'm going to allow repeated calls, so if someone calls me um, twice, I'm going to assume that that's urgent. Uh, you, that's pretty reliable, because uh, even spam calls generally won't call you back immediately. I have no idea why <laughs> uh, iOS has suggested Pocket Casts and Libby uh, for me to allow notifications, but I am going to do, let's see, wow, that was a real voice crack. Um, what am I thinking of? Uh, you know what? Just maps. And messages. I'm not sure, uh, how exactly that'll turn out on the final release. Um, so there are a few things, a few other things to do with this car focus. Um, we are going to be able to automate it. Uh, but not using this, we're actually going to go into the Siri Shortcuts app, which is going to be the most complicated part. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I have set up a custom home screen that just has car driving related applications, definitely work in progress, that is otherwise hidden. So it's not, uh, it just appears and only it appears when this focus is on. Um, I, uh... You know what, I'm going to turn on silence notifications in the lock screen because there's no reason... The lock screen should not generally be a distraction uh, when driving because it, you know... Uh, anyway, so um, now that I've got my car focus set up, uh, it automated... Wow, okay. It arranges it as the third there. I'm going to open the Siri Shortcuts app and go to the Automation tab. Do not be afraid. If this is the first time you've opened this app, uh, you probably have a few default automations that are not on. But in the top right-hand corner, again, we're going to go to Plus, Create Personal Automation. And then in the second menu, where it says CarPlay, I'm going to do... I'm actually going to do two of these automations instead of doing the default way, just because, in my opinion, it uh, it's better to have one to turn on and one to turn off rather than have it toggle. Um, in my experience, it's just more reliable. So the way this is, this is, we're setting up a trigger now. When CarPlay, uh, when your phone connects to your car, that's going to trigger this automation. And we only need one action here. You don't. You can ignore the rest. I know it's overwhelming, especially now. Um, and what I did was I, I looked for the set focus action. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and select my custom automation and leave it to on until turned off because our other automation is going to turn it off. Then one more thing, this ask before running toggle, I'm going to turn that off because otherwise it, this would be completely pointless. Um, so there's the automation uh, to that, that turns this focus on uh, anytime it connects. Now I'm going to make a sister one that is the inverse so the trigger is going to be when CarPlay disconnects. And as of now, as in this is beta, 
I don't know, not exactly sure if this will be different uh, in the final release of iOS 15. I can, uh, it, it is going to have me say, turn a specific focus off instead of turn all focuses off. But yeah, so there's, now I'm turning my uh, car focus off when CarPlay disconnects. And again, I'm gonna turn ask before running off. And yeah, so the result should be that anytime I connect my phone to the car, uh, the options that I've specified in here, which obviously um, are, you can make as much or as little use as you'd like, uh, should apply. And then when it disconnects, um, it will go back to my normal phone. Normal notifications, normal home screens. Um, yeah, so this is a, uh, hopefully, um, if, you, if you need any help with this, literally comment or let me know. I will walk you through this step by step because it is one of the few uh, uses of automation on iOS that is reliable and genuinely useful for most people. So yeah, do contact me.